What's up guys? Welcome to Red Beam. We just came back from our second motorcycle trip on the new Yamaha 10 the 700s. And what a trip it was. Oh, we had five amazing days. We saw Omdalsnes, Geirangerfjord, and we even got to play a little bit on the Trans Europe Trail. Along with us we brought the Moscow Moto Nomad tank bag. And today we thought we would uh, tell you a little bit about our thoughts on them, show you what comes in the box and give you a little bit of an installation guide. But don't worry, we filmed a lot during our trip and footage from that is coming up in the coming weeks. have the tank bag itself. The reason we chose uh, this particular one is uh, because of the uh, multi-use and multi-functions on it and uh, how the compartments are uh, divided. Most tank bags just have one big uh, bucket um, but this one has very good organizational tools in here. And in the main compartment you have uh, it's about like seven eight centimeters deep and you have these um, zipper pockets, one flat in the lid and one that is about three centimeters deep uh, that can help you organize uh, stuff. And here is, uh, apparently this is supposed to be for uh, contact lens solution. Not really sure why. But you can also use this for GoPro batteries or something like that. And on the side here, you have a pass-through for a charging cable, which is uh, pretty smart so you can charge your uh, stuff while you're riding. This main compartment is big enough to put uh, a Mavic Mini box in here. You can put the whole box if you want to do that. So in the next compartment we have lots of space for cables, pens, whatever you want to put in here. There's also three separate pockets, good for a passport, notepads, whatever you want to put in here. There's also a fleece lined pocket for sunglasses. The next compartment is the beaver tail. It has space for a personal locator beacon, or you can put whatever you want in there, of course. It attaches with Velcro, and there's also a metal clip in there to secure things that has a lanyard. And on the outside here, you have Molly webbing, which is perfect for attaching all kinds of add-ons uh, that you want to attach to it. One of the things you can attach is uh, the map pocket that comes in the box. It's very easy to attach. This attaches very easily uh, with these velcro and button down straps that you can just uh, thread through like uh, so. So if you like to read maps this is perfect. This is also um, like touch sensitive so if you put your uh, phone in here uh, the touch screen still works which is uh, smart. You also get um, rain cover in the box and this one clips into uh, another pocket at the top right here. You can clip it in and uh, just put it all over, over the tank bag to make it waterproof. Perfect. Easy to take off and just put back in the pocket. And uh, something that's very uh, useful uh, for long rides is uh, this pocket. This is a pocket that goes all the way through the bottom and it's meant for another thing that comes in the box. A one and a half liter uh, water bladder with a hose. So as you can see in here you have, uh, I have the water bladder and it just clips in with the hose like this. You can take it out and, and refill it. Easy to clip back in like this and just push it in. And then it comes out on the side here in this uh, zipper pocket and wraps all the way around like so. And then you can clip it to uh, this clip right here and another clip attached to the molly here. When I'm out riding I tend to um, always forget to drink so I get dehydrated and get dizzy. So it's very handy to have this um, bladder uh, on the tank bag so I can always reach water instead of having to stop all the time. Tucked away in here are straps, so you can also use it as a backpack. And it fastens onto here. Put it 
on our back and go for a walk. When you get it in the box, it comes with uh, this kind of dog leash looking thing. And this is supposed to go around your steering column. Uh, on our bike, uh, if you, we can put it around here. You gotta make sure that you put, uh, put it on the right side because one has a um, male and one has a female. So the male is on the right side and the female is on the left side. So you gotta make sure they match. So you just put it like around this. It's different from bike to bike, but like this. And then you clip the middle one together, like so. And clip these onto the dog leash, like that. And you find your position on the, where you want the tank bag to, to be positioned. And then you have these uh, Velcro uh, straps on the side here. And it comes uh, with these uh, clipped to it. So now we need to find a space for these on the bike. So if you place the tank bag about where you want it, you can see about where, where they should be attached. Uh, this seems like a good spot. So these you gotta uh, attach permanently to the frame. So in the box you also get um, four of these uh, zip ties. But my fingers are a bit clumsy. I think this is easier for you, Pia. You wanna try? These aren't hard to get in there, it just requires patience. So let's hook this one into the bottom there. And this one to the top. all the way in and the same on the other side don't want this poking into my thigh when I'm riding so let's cut them off so we'll attach this one place it in the center and then tighten this thing we have now been using these Moscow Moto tank bags for about 3,000 kilometers and we really, really love them. Um, I don't really have anything negative to say about it, to be honest. Since we have two of them, it's actually perfect since we're two people. So I can fit the drone that we have in the big compartment here so that it's easily available. It's a Mavic Mini. In the smaller compartment, I have all the chargers, charging my phone while on the go, a little screwdriver, sunglasses, and then in the front here, we keep our microphone when we are out riding and the coffee cup, most important thing of all. I don't really have anything negative to say about these bags. There's quite a lot of room in it and it's not too big. And when we're, when we're stopping in the city, it's, it's very handy because you can turn it into a, a backpack. When you need to fill gas, the only thing you need to do is just unclip one of these straps and then pull it to the side and you have access to the, to the gas tank. It's very easy to use and I really, really like it. I would definitely recommend uh, getting one of these for a long adventure. Mine is stuffed in uh, pretty much the same manner that Kenneth's is. I have my phone that's on charge and a knife in here. And in the main compartment, I now have batteries that are charging and a coffee cup. I am also very fond of this drinking bladder but I have to confess, I've had some trouble with it too. You see, when I'm out riding, I find it hard to connect it into this slot here. And I sometimes sit on it. And I usually forget to close it. So <laughs> there have been times when I've been sitting in a puddle. But I think that's my fault. A tiny thing that bugs me is this. This strap is way too long. So for it not to be flapping about, I have to kind of tie it into a knot here. And then I can feel it when I'm clutching my thighs into the bike. But I guess I could just cut it off if it becomes too annoying. When it's attached to the bike, it looks kind of huge. But when I come to sit, I don't really feel it in the way at all. And now I even have a lot of luggage in the back here too. But this doesn't get in the way for me at all when I'm riding. Another plus 
We live in Norway, remember? <laughs> There's a rain guard that goes on top. And if I put my phone here, I can still touch through this thing. If I want the next song. To sum up, we're very happy with these tank bags. We find them convenient and easy to use and we'd probably get them again. They are a bit on the expensive side for tank bag. Obviously there are cheaper ones out there, but I think if you're gonna use them every day, then it's worth it. Yeah, so that was the Nosco Moto Nomad tank bag. I hope this was informative for some of you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. And if you want to support us, you can go to ridethebean.com and get a bag of our own coffee or one of these cool t-shirts. See you next time. Peace.